Hello and welcome to the Free Lowry class for August 16th, 2024. We are doing page 134 in book 204 and uh, it's Let It Be Me. Last week we did Let It Be by the Beatles and this week it's Let It Be Me. And um, yeah, we're going to be using soft and easy. Let's go through how we're going to get this, okay? So on your organ, you're going to go to, uh, let's see here, soft and easy, okay, and come on over here, and you want to go to soft country, and I want, we wanted about 80, I think, 80. So that's what we're going to do, and then um, if we want to find the re the right preset at that point we go to the normal turn that on go over to button four and what we want is the mellow guitar that's a preset zero preset zero so i have the one on here i gotta turn that off as soon as i turn that off i don't have any lights on one through ten so that means i have zero Okay, the other thing that we're going to do um, is I'm going to, this is the setup here, take off the lower genius that's on, so we're taking that off. We're going to tone down the background quite a bit, the bass, uh, the lower, and the orchestra plus, and we're going to also tone down the drums. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over here to more and we're going to hit the country okay so we have uh harmony and i think that is about all the changes that we need so it's a real easy setup it sounds very good it has the country harmony makes it sound like the everly brothers harmonizing <laughs> which is really cool and uh couple different things we're going to I have like a C sharp diminished seventh and we have a few of those and they're not everyone but C sharp diminished seventh and a diminished seventh is is really a favorite chord of Beethoven's it's kind of a scary chord so two ways that you can do that we can do that with an easy play by it's a C sharp diminished seventh, so we get the C and the G together. Or if you want to play the whole thing, C sharp E, G, B flat. It makes it a little bit thicker. Okay, we have a few of those in there. I would recommend this for the intro. I wrote one out that's kind of like theirs, but if you're on the soft country, if you want to use intro one, works good. And ending two seems to work pretty good. And the, um, you know, as you'll see, there's the intro that I wrote out. And uh, we can try that. You'll see that uh, coming on the playing version. All right. So it's pretty laid back, pretty easy. A um, couple FX's, when we go into the bridge, there's the bridge, and then when we come out of the bridge, we FX back into the uh, first part of the song, the main part of the song. Um, I think that's it, and yeah, 80, and you're good to go. And yeah, you can use choir, choir would be nice on this here too, or choose a different guitar. But to get the right harmony um, that the Everly Brothers have, uh, the country um, harmony really does it, and it does it well on the mellow guitar. So that's about it. Okay, so we learned something new. We learned how to make diminished seventh chords, um, you know, C sharp and a G, or I've got it up here on top, C sharp, E, G, or B flat. 
By the way, that was Beethoven's favorite chord. He had more diminished sevenths than a person can count. So anyway, I'll see you on the playing version of this song in the video right next door.